I normally don't review gear, but I wanted to talk about an essential piece of equipment for anybody who works with electronics. Full disclosure here, Keysight sent me this DSO-X 1204G oscilloscope to play with and share my thoughts on it. I'm not going to go into full detail about everything it can do, but I'm going to share some of the more important features along with give you my opinion. The first thing I noticed is that this thing is a very small and dense lunchbox. The DSO-X 1000 series is Keysight's entry-level scope. Notice that this thing has four channels. Let's talk about some of these specs. It's got four channels, which is really nice, but for most of my embedded work, I'm generally okay with just two channels unless I need a logic analyzer to look at multi-channel communication buses. In that case, I just pull out a logic analyzer. It's got up to 200 megahertz bandwidth, and I'll talk more about that in a minute, which is really good for most of my digital needs. It's got a sample rate of 2 gigasamples per second, which is definitely better than your entry-level Riggle or Siglent scopes. However, it only has 1 million points for memory with 3 or 4 channels, which is honestly quite poor for something with such a high sample rate. It means I can't store long records to look for spikes or anomalies. Even the Riggle DS1054Z has 12 megapoints of memory. The other thing that's a little concerning is that it only has 8 bits of vertical resolution, which means you might see some distinct quantization steps in your signals for fine details. Most modern digital scopes have at least 12 bits of resolution, even some of the $500 entry scopes. Now, according to the datasheet, if your horizontal scale is greater than or equal to 20 microseconds per division, the scope will oversample and average, giving you an effective resolution of about 12 bits, so you might not see the quantization effects unless you really zoom in on your signal. A spec that's often overlooked is the waveform update rate, which tells you how fast the scope will capture a full window and display it to you. The Keysight 1202 and 1204 scopes can give you 200,000 waveforms per second, which is on the order of four times better than other entry scopes. This can help you see glitches in your signal. Daniel from Keysight has a great video that shows a demo of this working. One thing that Keysight is known for is the intuitive controls. Now, if you've never used an oscilloscope before, all this is going to seem very confusing. But if you're somewhat familiar with how to use a scope, the knobs, buttons, and menus are generally where you would expect them to be. It has a 7-inch screen, which isn't the biggest, but I find it is plenty for what I need to do. It's clear and easy to read. There are two models in this range, the 1204A and 1204G. The 1204G comes with a built-in function generator that can give you up to 20 MHz waveforms. This can be incredibly useful on a bench when you need to make sine waves, square waves, triangle waves, and whatnot. It's generally about $200 more to get the model with the built-in function generator. If you're spending more than $1,000 on a quality scope, I generally think that an extra $200 for a built-in function generator is worth it, especially considering it saves you desk space. Another important piece you should get from any good oscilloscope manufacturer is the Certificate of Calibration. Most test equipment companies abide by ISO IEC 17025 for calibrating their products. This certificate proves that your scope is true and accurate. It's good for about a year, at which point you'll need to send your scope back in. The factory will recalibrate it and send it back to you with a new certificate. You are going to have to pay for this, unfortunately. The purpose of doing this is to prove that your scope is accurate, and generally you only need to worry about this if you're, say, writing for a scientific journal, need to present something in court, or you're going to send something to space and you have to be sure that whatever you're measuring is absolutely accurate. But for your general hobby use, this usually doesn't matter too much. Good enough is good enough. Now let's talk about price. Keysight is a well-known brand in the engineering world, and they make fantastic test equipment but you're gonna pay for it. This is essentially the Cadillac of oscilloscopes. For the 1204G, we see that there are several versions available based on the bandwidth. It's about $1,300 for the 70 MHz model, about $1,650 for the 100 MHz model, and over $2,000 for the 200 MHz model. Here's the interesting part. You can buy a low bandwidth model and then later buy an upgrade for it, which makes me think that the bandwidth is just limited in software in the scope itself. 
One of the cool features of this scope is that it walks you through the de-skewing or compensation process if you're using something with attenuation. So I connect my probe to the demo clips, press the channel button, and select probe check. Just follow the directions and it will automatically check to make sure you've compensated the probe correctly. Working with embedded stuff, I'd probably use it mostly to look at the quality of digital signals, but hey, you can do analog stuff with it too. The automatic measuring functions are one of the things that makes these digital scopes so nice. Most modern scopes come with a fast Fourier transform option, which can be really helpful when looking at frequency components in a signal. The fine folks at Keysight are also creating a new set of online courses if you'd like to learn more advanced oscilloscope tricks and measurement techniques. Check them out at learn.keysight.com. So what do I think? First, it's a very good scope. It appears to be very well made, it's intuitive, and it has a lot of features, but I don't recommend it for beginners. If you're on a shoestring budget, if you're just getting started, you're a hobbyist or a student, I recommend checking out the Riggle DS1054Z. For 350 bucks, you get four channels and 50 megahertz. Or I really like my Digilent Analog Discovery 2. The max bandwidth is only about 12 megahertz, but I found that to be plenty for most of my embedded work, and it's portable, so I take it everywhere. However, if you're a professional shop or a university looking to get the Keysight name along with the fantastic support that they give their products, then the DSO X1204G is a fantastic model to give to your engineers and engineers in training. It appears to be very well made and should last me quite some time. With that, I'll see you next time and happy hacking!